Yeah, when I was younger, I wanted to meet my dad. Um, but then I just kind of got over it because I was like, what's the point? I like don't have a dad, so it won't matter anymore. Growing up without my father was hard for me because I didn't have that kind of experience of like a biological father love, you know? I kind of had a boy crazy stage, you know, when you're like a teenager. So my friends would always be like, Julia, you have such a boy crazy life. Like you like all these boys, Justin Bieber and all these other celebrities. And I like never really thought about it at the time. I was just like, I think they're cute, you know? But um, for me, I think it was because I never really had like a father love in my life. So I was seeking like love from another person like a male I don't know I feel like there was a part of me that was missing because I didn't have like I didn't feel complete because I didn't have a father um, growing up without my uh, dad is uh, definitely very painful I think uh, there are a lot of moments in my life where I blamed him for uh, almost everything that I struggled with you know uh, things that like fights with my mom or uh, struggles that I had in school, girls or whatever it may be, just things that, um, even uh, guy struggles like lust where I just wish my dad was there to help me out, you know, guide me through these things that I've never encountered before. And um, a lot of times, especially when my mom was in jail and when he would um, openly attack us with whatever reason that he had, it was uh, painful, you know, because it's like, um, I get that you're angry with my mom and whatnot, but what did me and Gerard do to you, you know? It's just, uh, I don't get it. It's, it's, it, doesn't make, it never makes sense to me because if I had my own kid, you know, I'd, I'd give my life for them. And, well, why aren't you like that to me? And so um, growing up was, was hard, uh, especially at the times where my mom was, you know, working uh, day and night. You know, uh, you're home and um, I'm supposed to be the older brother. I'm supposed to be the big example, but no one was ever the big example to me. You know, so how, how is that fair? And um, it hurt a lot. Uh, even now, um, it's, it's crazy because it's, it's been 11 years ever since the time that um, uh, we left my dad. But even with all that time that we've had, it still hurts. You know, there's still that pain in my heart where um, I have to constantly forgive him. I have to constantly remember that, um, that, that that is the past, but at the same time, it's just I'm so connected with my dad. You know, it's just there's, there's a song that talks about how it's, it's like a cord uh, attached to your heart. You know, why can't I just unplug it? But I can't, he's my dad, and it, it hurts. So, you know, growing up, my dad was definitely, um, without my dad, was, was painful. Well, the pastor is also my grandpa, but I also call him my dad. Um, but he really did fill in the spot for me as a dad because, you know, he was my grandpa, but he also cared for me a lot. He mentored me. Um, he taught me more about God than anybody else has, and I think he just filled in the spot for me to be a father. And, um, you know, it's hard when you don't have a dad because everyone just, like, looks up to their father, like, but he really did fill in the spot for me, and he showed, and he really does care for me and for myself. And I think that that was really important to me um, just because I had someone that I can trust and rely on, even if he wasn't my biological father. Having passed around was great because uh, I think there are many times where there, there are things that I want to talk about or things that, um, that, are, that are troubling me, especially when it came to theology, even my, own, even my own faith that I had questions of that no one could really understand but him. And having him um, in, in a way that we were, we were, we were connected with our, um, I guess, just the things that we uh, like talking about, um, politics, Bible, uh, creationist stuff, stuff like that, it's, 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 it's amazing. It's amazing to have, to have him around and for him to teach me all those things. And it, it's, it's nice to finally um, have that guidance in my life that I've been uh, yearning for and longing for for such a long time. There were, there were times where, where Uncle was explaining to me, uh, even with his own transparency, of what, how important it is to be honest and just uh, truthful as a man. For instance, uh, I remember he told me he was apologizing to me for not, uh, for that he wished he could have spent more time with me, you know? And I think that that shows 
manhood, you know, to be honest and to be real and to be, to be grounded in truth. And so from that I've learned so much, you know, it's just, uh, what's, the point of, 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 what, what's the point of lying? What's the point of being prideful? And it's taught me just how to be down to, down to the truth and, uh, and just to be honest with, with yourself and the people that you encounter and especially when it comes to your relationship with God. So. before I was like self-dependent on myself for like my emotions um, but now I can say like I can trust God like as um, someone I could like fully trust as like my father like that I know that was gonna comfort me um, when I was hurt and I did I felt alone and you know it's just someone that I can really trust and I don't have to worry about feeling judged or anything like that it's just something that I can um, rely on like you could trust God with anything and he was just like a figure that I can yeah just trust because that's hard to find in someone that you didn't meet before especially if they weren't there in the beginning so just having God is like something that I really can't do without because he really is my dad and I just can't imagine what it would be like to like not know who God is in my life and he really is someone you can trust and something that I am fully dependent on and yeah <laughs> that's it I'm, I'm trying to like be more transparent <laughs> it's like I'm just scripted um, I think the coolest thing of, of having this miraculous and and my faith in God is just how how much He understands, and um, it's just crazy because there are times where, um, especially now that I'm in college, I'm alone. There are times where it just it hurts, and and I guess there, there are moments where it's, it's uh, just isolation and being by yourself, uh, where you you end up talking to yourself, you know. And I think that's very destructive when you when you just argue with your with your own mind. And there are times where you feel like nobody understands, or I, I just wish there's there's somebody that could understand, someone that someone that could guide me through all this, and that's God. And there are moments, um, e even moments where you, I could feel Him um, just just talking to me and, and, and comforting me and telling me that He understands every bit of pain that I go through and that I've been through. That He understands that even though it's been so long since um, since I I forget the moment that I forgave my dad, that it, it will still hurt and there's still this pain, and He understands that. You know, and, and he's there not just to understand, but to even help out, to guide me through um, to the fact that that he's helping me and everything. That uh, this is crazy. I have this thing with, with God where if you want me to, to become a doctor, go to med school and whatnot, then you will show me all the all the paths that I need to take, and he has every every moment that every opportunity that I need to to buff up my application or whatnot. He's always there. He's 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 giving me that, these opportunities without me looking for them, and that's just how I know God is speaking to me. God is talking to me. And even when it comes to, um, there are moments where I'm walking throughout campus and, and I just have this tugging in my heart, talk to this person, tell, tell that person about um, my love. There was this one moment where there was, a, there was a person, I was walking back to class and they were crying and, and God just tugged in my heart like, um, you know this pain, talk to this person. And I did, I, I, I shared, I shared about, it, about him and his love and so it's, it's, it's amazing, it's, it's unexplainable really of how, just how much God can, can love us even if um, there, there are physical things that lack in our lives, he completely fills that void in our lives. I think the struggle um, starts with um, to make sure that you're really grounded in that truth, especially for, for, my, for myself, I'm speaking for myself, where I just have to um, always remember that God does love me, you know, and, and, and to not give in to the, I guess, the deception of the enemy, so, yeah, so praise God for that. It's, Happy Father's Day, Pastor, and Happy Father's Day to all the fathers at FCF. Uh, hey, Pastor. Um, happy Father's Day, and thank you for just being uh, real with me and honest with me and being there, especially when it's hard. And um, thank you for being the father that I, I never had. And Happy Father's Day to all the fathers at FCF. Uh, thank you. Um, growing up, I'm a... I don't know. <laughs> I can't talk. Okay. 